There is a well-known problem in uh, applied mechanics, which is called the Hearst contact problem. And it deals with the analytical solution of a, a, a two of two uh, uh, pipes, solid, solid, solid bars so with circular cross section to be pressed against each other. And uh, finding the stress distribution, stress distribution in each of these, uh, uh, in each of these uh, pipes, solid, solid bars. Okay. Now, uh, there is an analytical solution, and in, ch in chapter 15, there is an exercise, or uh, on my book, there's an exercise that I ask people to model it. Uh, the problem is, when it, when it comes to modeling it in CATIA, the problem is kind of vague, because the question becomes, how do you press these things against it? So the way I'm going to model this problem is by assuming that there is a plate at the bottom, at the bottom of the... A big, uh, big, big pipe, which is uh, considerably more rigid than either of these two plates, and uh, these these two these two solid pipes, and there is a plate at the top of the small uh, diameter uh, solid bar, which is again considerably more rigid than them, and that top plate is being pushed down so that it presses against the small uh, uh, small pipe small solid bar, and that in turn presses the big solid bar, which is uh, lying on the, uh, the bottom plate. Okay, that's how I'm going to do that. And by the way, you realize that there is a plane of symmetry, there's a vertical plane of symmetry. So first I'm going to model these pipes and the plates, two plates and two, two, two solid bars, and then uh, uh, in, in their in their entirety, and then I'm going to cut it, split it with uh, the appropriate plane, and solve the problem. Okay. Oh, incidentally, you also have you also have a plane of symmetry uh, in 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 along halfway uh, halfway direction. Okay. Uh, so uh, like that, there's a plane of symmetry like this, and there's a plane of symmetry along the line. So I'm going to model the whole thing and then cut it later on. So Katia, insert insert. New, uh, new part in there, and I'm going to call this thing the small, uh, small cylinder. Okay, so uh, uh, properties small cylinder. Cylinder. Uh, small cylinder. Okay, let's make it. Uh, double click. So on a convenient plane, on that vertical plane, I will sketch a circle. Let me give it some uh, diameter, one, maybe uh, a diameter one inch. Exit. Pad it in both directions. Five inches. So the cylinder is ten inches long. Eventually, we're going to cut it. It becomes five inches long, but that's fine. Uh, so now we're going to insert the big cylinder. Insert uh, new part. And rename this thing to be big cylinder. Big cylinder and big cylinder. Big cylinder. Let's make it. So on that same plane, I will sketch. Okay. Now I'm going to draw a, a circle of diameter uh, one. 
diameter 2, the other one was diameter 1. Okay, let's make them tangent to each other in case they're not. So control, uh, uh, yeah, control this and that, and we make them tangent. Okay, very good. Exit. Pad it. In both directions, five inches. Okay, very good. By the way, let's make these things out of steel. So, uh, uh, where is that material? A metal. Uh, let's make it out of steel on this part. Okay. And I'm going to do the same thing to the other one. So, I'm going to go to the other part. Also make it out of steel. So, uh, apply material. Metal. Steel. Okay. All right, good. So now let's go and insert the top plate and the bottom plate. So insert, insert, new part. No. We'll call this thing top plate, properties, top plate. Top plate, top plate. plate let's make it okay so uh, uh, on that same plane vertical plane I will sketch a rectangle But I'm going to make this thing tangent to that circle. Uh, control this. Tangent to each other. Bring this down. There we are. Up. And uh, pad it in both directions by five minutes, uh, five, five inches. Good. And let's make this thing out of uh, some very stiff material. So what I'm going to do is uh, uh, I'm going to apply material to this. Uh, I can still, uh, uh, I can, I can, well, let's make it out of aluminum. However, uh, however, I'm going to go there, and for its uh, uh, Young's modulus, uh, I will put, uh, um, remember for steel, it's 3, 10 to the 7 PSI. For aluminum, it's uh, uh, 1, 10 to, the seven, uh, 10 to the 7. So let's make this thing 9, which, is, which means almost 9 times more stiff than steel, okay? So I changed the Young's modulus here manually to make it a lot stiffer. And finally, do I do that? Yeah, it's really not aluminum. I can call it uh, whatever my my own material. So uh, insert the last part. Oops, let's go to the assembly. Insert last part. And rename it to be bottom plate. Bottom plate. And bottom plate. Okay, let's go make it. On that same plane, the 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 wise, uh, the wise plane, I will sketch. Okay, another. Rectangle doesn't have to be the same size, but uh, it really doesn't matter. We'll take it like this. Let's make this thing tangent. This one control that and make them tangent to each other. This is the bottom plate. 
exit okay had it in both directions by five inches five inches okay so now I'm going to cut these things because of symmetry along the vertical plane so uh, let's go to oh material I forgot to apply material here sorry uh, so uh, metal aluminum on that part okay but then go there and change the uh, the value of the young modulus to be nine this is uh, this is almost uh, actually three times stiffer this is three times this makes it three times stiffer because the steel is three this is nine uh, that's okay uh, in fact what I can do is I go there and I put another uh, instead of making it seven make it eight and the same thing with the other one so it's 30 times stiffer than the other guy than steel so let's go here analysis the nine is there but this one is going to be eight which means 30 times stiffer okay so now let's split these things so where's the saw let's find the saw there's a saw we're going to cut it with this plane and it's going to say that uh, all of these four are affected are you sure the answer is yes all of them are good okay and then i'm going to cut it uh, in with the vertical plane it's going to say all of these are effect affected are you sure the answer is yes and there we are okay so uh, let's go ahead and let's go to uh, uh, to uh, <clears throat> uh analysis and simulation generative structure analysis Katia will uh, mesh these things for me okay the i may have to change these things make it smaller but uh, right now we leave it the, the way it is so let's go ahead and apply our uh, uh, restraints so these are planes of symmetry so make a surface slider there's a surface slider here there's a surface slider there and there and there remember i cut it with a certain plane and the backs are also surface slider this one that one that one and that one okay good now the bottom the bottom of this why don't we clamp it Uh, we can either clamp it or we can uh, also put it on a surface slider okay so uh, uh, well, yeah, okay so let, let me put it on a surface slider this is not the plane of symmetry however we can pretend it's sitting uh, it's got casters and you know bearings ball bearings or something like that okay good okay now we're going to apply a pressure on the top pressure on the top uh put down uh, uh 500 psi that's a lot of pressure okay fine now we have to create connections so uh, we need a connection between this plane and for the second component the surface of the cylinder here another connection between another connection between the surface of the cylinder top cylinder and for the second second component surface of the bottom cylinder and another one for the surface of the bottom cylinder and for the second component right there okay now uh, i'm not going to change the size of the element but believe me you need a smaller size element for the person who asked me to do this uh, i suggest you go ahead and change the size unless it doesn't run for me i will keep it the way it is but you can go ahead and change the size to get uh, you know meaningful more accurate results now these are all contact okay so where is the contact so there is a contact face to face connection contact 
this is a contact another one the second connection is a contact and the third one is a contact if this thing fails in all likelihood it's going to be because of the mesh size but uh, we'll keep it the way it is let me save these things file save management save as okay desktop new folder july 6 uh, not Ju oh, July 5. Sorry, <laughs> July 5. And let's go ahead and run it. This is fine. This is fine. And it's done. I'm not suggesting that the results are accurate because this this is a pretty bad mesh as far as the size goes. But uh, anyway, let's see what it does what it's supposed to. Let's look at the deformation. There's a deformation, and notice that uh, yeah, it's squishing these things. So animate it. Yeah. If you look at the stress distribution. Uh, Okay, so uh, let me see now, change the rendering here, material shading. Now, we don't want to see the stresses in the in the uh, top plate and the bottom plate. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click. I'm going to double click on the uh, one mission stress contour and selection only do for the small cylinder, only show me the small cylinder and the, uh, the big cylinder. Okay. So uh, this is the stress distribution in those, and uh, theory, the, the theory, uh, let me see now, let me change the scale here to default, okay, very good. Uh, let's look at the front side view, so is this the one? Yeah. Now the fact that, uh, the fact that it doesn't look what first contact problem may predict is because of the mesh size. Please go ahead, change the mesh size, change the element type, and then uh, uh, rerun the problem. Uh, this is because somebody asked me to, to do this problem and I did it, but I feel that you have to put some effort into it for, uh, for accuracy, okay? Good luck.